Hi, and welcome back. I'm Mary Jo, also known as Sojo, and this is my channel where I talk about all my quilty stitchy things. Today is my weekly update, number 33, and today is Sunday, September 17th, 2023. So, it's been a week. It's been another really rough week. So this week, I've probably did more crocheting than anything. I did do some sewing and quilting, but I definitely didn't have as much vigor and enthusiasm as I usually do. Because um, two weeks ago from yesterday, I got the diagnosis of my dog's bone cancer. And I've shared that with y'all. Well, this week, things took an ugly turn. And let's just say our dog is no longer suffering and no longer in pain. So it's been a rough week, but it's getting better. It is looking up. Now I can tell you also, I didn't get any quilting on the long arm done this week, and I won't be <laughs> for quite a while because the long arm is broke. And now we have to wait on Gamal to come do a service, which may be a couple months. So in the meantime, I have some other things that I can do on my domestic with some straight line quilting and things that may get done. So there's that. Um, this week I did finish my August Cotton Cuts Gnomes and put that into a quilt top. I was planning on yesterday doing a video with these because yesterday was National Jelly Roll Day. National Sew a Jelly Roll Day. Now, Jelly Roll is a two and a half inch strip of rolls together, and Moda is the one that termed, the, termed it Jelly Roll. There's other little rolls that you can buy that call different things, roly polies, and so, so forth. And sometimes they're not necessarily in a roll, but in a package. So this is what I was going to do yesterday. However, that didn't happen. Yeah, I had a rough day at work Friday, and I just hurt all over yesterday, and I couldn't do it. But things are looking better today. I'm hopeful this week <laughs> things are going to start looking up. Also, a couple weeks ago, I had mentioned, you know, my husband had some hours cut, so we had loss of income. But that is looking up this week, too. So, there is brighter days ahead. It's just, it's just been a rough week. Okay, now with all that out of the way, oh, and I do know that my sew sampler is on the way and my June Creative Notions bag's on the way, so as soon as I get those, I'll do an unboxing of those and put them on my channel, as well as my September Cotton Cuts Gnomes on the way too. So, lots of things coming. So, what did I do this week? Well, I already said I couldn't do any quilting, but I did do some binding. On two quilts. Let me hang them up and I'll show you. And this is the first thing that I finished the binding on this week, which is my June Cotton Cuts Gnomes. So there's the top and we'll work our way down. Now it was quilted on the long arm with those sun pantographs. Just for this being the June cotton cuts, the sun helps the watermelon grow. All right, we'll flip it over, the binding. And there's the label. And the red binding all the way around. And this is the second quilt that I put the binding on. Now this was from a current Creative Notion subscription box from a few years back. Now I did do a scrappy binding all the way around um, just because I didn't have enough fabric to do a solid binding. So I just took all the extras from the different colors in the flowers and used them that way. Now I did finish the binding, but I'm also going to add these little buttons on, these butterflies and ladybugs, along the flowers, some of the flowers and stuff. So I haven't done that yet, but I plan on doing this maybe today, so then next week I can show, hang it up and show it again. 
we'll go take a closer look at everything. And here is a closer look at all the quilting. And it was quilted with a butterfly pantographs. And there up in the corners of the quilt, there are butterfly blocks. And it does have some large rick rack down the sides too. And again, it is that scrappy binding that I used. There's some gray, the orange, Let's see, some pinks. There's a little red over there. There's some blue up there on the binding, although you can't really tell that's what that is. And we'll flip it over. And there's my label on the back. Like I said, I do plan on showing this one again next week after I get the buttons sewed on. All right, so let's move on to piecing. Well, I finished my August Cotton Cuts gnomes, so let me hang it up. But before I do that, let me know if any of you sewed on National Jelly Roll Day. Let me know if you sewed and what you sewed. I'd really like to know. All right. Let's hang this up. And here is my August Cotton Cuts gnomes. And there's the girl in her swimsuit. And there's the boy in his. And there's the sailboat's fur little accent block. So as far as piecing and quilting goes, I only worked on one other thing this week. Now, I do want to say thank you to everybody who left me some nice, kind comments, you know, in regards to Madigan. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, it's been, last couple days has been a bit, bit I don't know, <laughs> just surreal. Um, you know, I'm still like getting up trying to let her out before I realize, hey, she's not here. So, it's, it's been a rough week. <laughs> But what else I worked on this week was the Vintage Christmas by Lori Holt. Now, last week I had shown I had finished all these blocks. And what I did this week is I pinned this center part all together. I pinned all the rows. So I'm not going to go and show you all the rows. But see, I've got some sashing rows pinned together. And... These rows all pinned together with the sashing so when I take this next time to the sewing machine I can start sewing those all together and I have a whole stack going on over here Is all of that stacked together ready to sew all right so that's everything I worked on as far as sewing this week but let's go to cross stitch what did I do on cross stitch this week well I'm still working on this big band sampler and I will be for a while so last week I started working on the gingerbread, which is right down here. So that's kind of how much I have left. So I finished the gingerbread row and now I'm right here at these where it's the ornaments and candy canes. Now this is on 16 count Ada and it has been a long time working on this and I was looking at this the other day and looking at the stitch count and the stitch count is a thousand by 120 so that's how big this is and because it's on 16 count it's even bigger <laughs> but here is that first one because this was broken up into two pieces and I always start by showing this first piece that I done down to the bells 
and I am working on the second piece. Let me unclip her here. There we go. Gingerbread men I finished, and now I'm working on the Christmas bell and candy canes. Christmas balls and candy canes. <laughs> okay, so that's what I did there. Now let me show you everything I worked on in crochet this week. So last week I had started crocheting a sock. So let me pull out those. Now this particular socks was part of a subscription from Leather Co that I was getting. I have since canceled. I'm no longer getting it. <clears throat> but I don't even know what month this was from. But I have several stacked up waiting to go. But this is the North Cas Cascades National Park socks. And that's what they look like. Last week, I think I had done one. Well, I finished the other one. And when I crochet these socks, I usually crochet for me the medium size. And I can usually get two pair of socks out of them. But with that being said, sometimes these little mini skeins that they use for like the toe, the heel, and up here at the cuff, I don't always have enough to do that. So I have to change the colors a little bit. So here's my second set. I did use, when the, finished using this green mini skein for the toe, and then I just made the cuff and the heel out of this same yarn. And then for the second sock for that set, it has the other mini skein of that blue. So these two toes have the different color, but it's still a set, they still go together. And out of the hank, this is much uh, yarn I have left. So that's all the sock weight number one. So I finished those two pair of socks and then I went on to make a hat. Well, it's not a hat, it's an ear warmer. So let me pull that out. This was also a pattern I had from Ether Co. The Polar Bear Ear Warmer. So I made it out of this. It's a little big, it's almost hat-like, but that's okay. It works, it serves its purpose. And then I can just pull my hair through. Oops, let me pull those off. There we go, with the little bow on it. Pull my hair out the back. And because I was trying to use the rest of the yarn, I decided to make these little finger moves. Gloves to go with it. As soon as the weather starts getting cooler, that's what I have. So, then I started on And that was all the yarn I had after the little fingerless mitts and ear warmer. And then I started on this other Emmy Garumi crochet kit. Started on this doll. So what I've done so far is I've made the head, <laughs> which I need to still stuff with polyfill. And I made the nose. <laughs> yeah, so it'll go on there somewhere. It's kind of hard to see because it's not stuffed, so it's all collapsing in itself, but that will be what it is. So that is all of my crochet I've worked on this week. 
now I have worked on one other thing that I haven't shown, been showing, but I remembered today. And that is my diamond painting. Now this is just a small little diamond painting I've been working on. And here is this image that I've been working on. And this is where I am. We still have a few more colors to go because when they're this small, I usually just work one whole color at a time. And I have, let's see, there's 25 different colors and I have six more colors to go. So there it is. All right. So that's everything I worked on this week. Till next time. Bye.